Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video Futa Hype and Ayaktain reacts to Rigging King breaking down at his album release party. Spice sets record and is officially the first female dancehall artist with 10 reggae billboard entries. A 13 year old girl who was burned up in fire in Westmoreland is doing well overseas. Alkaline allegedly accuses Vibes Cartel of copying his blueprint. And Joe Holness gets exposed after UK government released. Statement, father cans up his own child and takes out himself in St. Catherine and Lady Sa reveals that her father has passed away. And that's the first thing we're going to talk about, my people, where Lady Sa, or should I say Minister Marian Hall, you know, let the fans them know that her father is no longer with us. You understand what I'm saying, people? I'm not sure if she made the revelation over on Instagram, but on Facebook she actually made the post. And we're going to just get to the post that she actually make right about now. You see it, people? So basically she posts up that photo that is her father and stuff like like that is him people and in the caption she said rest in peace my father you left this earth a safe man it's been a while but you're in my heart and mind you see it people so you know all the people are, um you know give them condolences and stuff like that you understand but you know this is just a part of life where it's not an easy road you understand it's not something where everybody can face them thing here and stuff you see my people now i'm not sure if she and her father did have a close relationship a close bond or whatever but you don't know she make the people them know say you know she end up a lose her father and stuff like that not sure when exactly he passed away but she actually made this post one day ago you see what i'm my people so you don't know if you feel like you know want to leave some comments as it relates to you know sending our condolences says you can do that if not you don't have to do it as my people but yeah let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about footer hype and ayakti and reacting to ragging king you understand people and last night was ragging king album release party as you may know say ragging king have an album named therapy and i'm really hoping that this album actually do well as you may hopefully ragging king get a lot of support because to me i feel like him put out some effort as it relates to interacting with the fans them making them know say yo them forgot pre-order the album and you don't know say ragging king is a good artist so you know me say well if a people Show say so, all right, them have some interest into going out and getting this album. And you understand what I say, people. So, as I say, last night was the album release party. I go show you the video and then I go show you a post for Ayakti and Mick. And then we go move on to where Footer Hype had to say about you know the whole Ragging King album um, release party. You see my people. So, watch this. My always have to say this, like my greatest. And you're not going to tell the yeah. But I'm going to make the people them know something right now tonight. Yeah. 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 Them slow me down, them never stop me. When the boss is moving, I'm going to go, bam, 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 bam. Yo. Man, I ain't trying to sell to you, you know, fuck. Isn't it? Pick up everybody with Kelly Lord now. I swear. I want to go here with me. Man, tell you, may I have to say that here? Let it down, go down. Alright, so when you see what I go on, very emotional. As you say, people, Ragging King have a lot of faith. He is a very strong artist. Remember, him say I go walk in you know, people. And remember, faith move mountains, right? So just continue to believe, and the people him just go and pray for the artist. You understand what I say about I actually made a caption saying, This bring tears to my eyes, youth. But Janeva bring a man more. I guess he wants to Janeva give a man more than what him can carry. Ragging King, stay strong, King. Yes, him a people. 
people and him tag tall up and so forth. You see me? So after I act and post that, footer hype jump in at the comment section and say, them not promote this good, kiss me teeth. My would I go give my strength, never know about this. So footer hype, I say, yo, him never even know about the album launch or the album party, release party and stuff. You understand me? I say, me did actually know about it, but me never remember, say, last night. You understand? Because Ragging King did talk about it and I think, um, me see some people uh, do ads for him. I think Governor, one of the artists, they miss the ads. Um, can't remember who else. Oh, Squash. Mrs. Squash as well. Do our ads that promote the therapy album and you understand me and say. Um, anyway, I actually and respond to Futa Hype and say, Yes, King. No, if you did know, you would have did it. And Futa Hype respond and say, I'm vexed. You see me? So, Futa Hype vexed because he never get for God and support Riking King and stuff like that. You see it, people? So, that or that, but let me know what you guys think about this. And also, me and telling you people go out there, support the artists. You understand me? I say, and also, if you can't buy the album, people just stream the songs them when them drop on YouTube, watch a music video and them thing there because every support count, you know. You understand, you know, say everything count towards um album sales and all of them thing they nowadays. You understand, so it's not like you have to go out there and purchase the physical copy and all of them thing there. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about dancehall queen spice and a post from actually see as well as some people and in this post it is talking about spice actually setting record and becoming the, the, the only female dancehall artist with 10 billboard entries you see my people and of course you know say um spice emancipated album actually reach pan billboard you understand me i say people so me i show you the post that was made and only can tell more anything you see me so it say spice becomes the female artist with the most charted entries on the billboard reggae albums chart in dancehall congratulations you see my people and you can see say it says spice now has a total of 10 billboard entries 2009 ramping shop 2014 summer like it ep 2016 nasty three times 2018 black hypocrisy 2018 captured ep 2019 dumpling remix 2021 10 and 2022 emancipated. You see what man say, people? So it's a good look for Spice. Um, you don't know, say Spice. Yo, Spice have our money still, people. And she don't really rely upon album sales for, 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 for make our money. You understand what I say? Although every artist want them album for sell and them want to make as much money and fight as possible because them not put it out for not make nothing and fight because them would have just get out for free. You understand? But, you know, it's not like she are 100% rely upon making crazy millions off of this because we know say dance all some strange reason you know you have so much followers on ig but the support is just not adding up you have four million followers and you don't really sell that much you understand me i say not even our people look on this me not even want to go on this too much you know but look on this spice have four million followers in four million people and she put out an album and you tell me say not even um five thousand people out of the four million now go out there and purchase it not even five thousand I don't know people. Tell me anything, you understand? Alright, so we're gonna move on to the next topic now, which is the girl, the 13-year-old girl who actually got burned up in the fire in Westmoreland. Y'all know that she actually got transferred to overseas because as it relates to like certain degrees burning in Jamaica, we don't have like the hospice and certain place to, to, to help people, you understand? So you don't know, I think they actually raise some money like from donations or some something like that. And you know, them end up flying her overseas and you know, based on an article when we say she's actually doing well you understand what i say people i'm not going to be reading the full article but i'm gonna read a little piece out right now so i get a little bit more understanding you see me so it's a, a update 13 year old westmoreland fire victim responding well to surgery in the u.s adriana ling the 13 year old survivor of sunday's house fire that left three younger brothers passed away was successful in the first surgery she underwent in the u.s according to reports while it is not clear how many the teen will have to undergo she spent her first night undergoing a two to three hour procedure you see it so you know we have to give praises to god and at the end of the day people continue to pray for her you understand me and say keep your fingers crossed and stuff like that because you know she still have more surgeries to go on you know we have to be optimistic and we have to just hope for the best you know it's just sad say you know she end up losing her three brothers you know in that fire and thing you see it people so 
Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about a story where we see Zine, where a father basically can up himself, well, him take out himself and can up him own a child and things. You my people? And so much craziness are going right about now. I wonder how can somebody actually do something like that to them own a youth. But let me get into the story so I understand what's going on. You my people? And obviously, I have to change up some of the word. When I say take out himself, I'm supposed to understand my meaning, get rid of him own a if you understand but this is what the story I say father take out himself and can up his child in St. Catherine an unidentified man reportedly can himself and his younger daughter in bushes last night in Browns Hall St. Catherine he was pronounced and the toddler was admitted to the hospice reports state that there was an argument between the father and the child mother in which he took the child at approximately 9 p.m. last night the mother subsequently went to the police and filed a complaint according to St. Catherine North Police Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers police officers accompanied the woman home and were A-T-T-A-C-K-E-D by the father who, you know, embossed some kind of for them. He escaped with the child in bushes. The police continued their pursuit of the man. However, the man's B-O-D-Y was found this morning with corn in in the bushes. The child is also said to have gotten corn in the abdomen. SSP chambers confirmed that the father was an ex-security officer and that there were indications that the strap used in the corn in was a licensed strap. Yes, my people so I may not know still. So basically, him and the mother have an argument and you tell me, say, you would have do that to an innocent child when I have nothing to do with nothing. Yes, my people. I don't know still. Yo. And everybody for be parents because if you can't control yourself, then oh you're gonna be a parent. But I'm glad say the child is still alive and thing because it could have ended different. You understand me and some people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about alkaline and so when I see a lot of persons are set on the internet. And before I go into these people, this is not my personal opinion. I am telling you what I see on the internet and what people are saying because some people are easy for getting at them feelings. Now according to people on the internet, they must say alkaline is saying that Vibes Cartel is copying his blueprint. You understand? I'm going to explain to you now why the people must say that. And it also based on a post for Alka Zine. Now, you know, so Alka have a song named Lone, Ma Lone Madness, right, people? And you don't know, so that is like a, mother say it's a, it's not a conscious song, but it's a song where you, you can relate to. You understand what I say, people? The, 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 the whole concept of it, it is actually very good. I like it. You understand? And it shows a different side of Alka. Now, basically, they must say when everybody do certain type of songs, they might talk about chopping and this and that. Alka go a different route and go the lone madness. You understand? Now, Vibes Cartel drop a song named It Hard. Now, the song, there's also something that a lot of persons can relate to as well. So, they must say because Alka go so bops and you know him go the route there, they must say Vibes Cartel follow. But on top of that, Zine, they must say the cover art to um, It Hard. Similar to loan madness. You understand me and say people, you can see them on the screen. You can tell if you feel like Vibes Cartel copy and as me say, I know me and say so, and what people are say. On top of that, Alkaline goes up and make that post up on him Instagram status saying, the blueprint LOL got goodie. So of course, you know, say it kind of seem like Alka show shit span somebody when I talk about the blueprint LOL. I remember Alkaline is an artist when I really make a bag of post on him IG page, you know. You understand me? I say so. When he make a post, it's definitely for a reason. So because he made that post there and thing, you know, people are say a cartel him a talk about, say cartel a follow him blueprint and all them things. They more want to tell me if you don't agree with that because for years and years, we always at years say, you know, Alkaline, uh, him are the one where you use Vibes Cartel Blueprint for get big and him not pay homage to Cartel and them thing. You see, that's where people always say so. Let me know if you don't see the similarities as it relates to the cover art and, you know, the, the direction in where Alkaline go. You don't feel like say Vibes Cartel follow that. You see, my people. Big up to the two artists, them. Two big bad artists. Of course, you know, say Cartel in a different status because a legend in the business. You understand? And Alkaline is also on his way to becoming a legend as well. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this.
in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the Prime Minister Andrew Holness being basically exposed. Yes, you know Now remember, you know, after the passing of the Queen, Andrew Holness made it clear that Jamaica will have 12 days of mourning and stuff like that. It actually, you know, start already. I think it started from the same day she actually passed where some flags did have to be um, raised down or something like that. Something did that go on with. Anyway, so the UK government released some statement and me go show no <laughs> where the statement here say. And I guess this is counteracting what Prime Minister Andrew Holness wants to happen in Jamaica. You see it? So this is what the story is saying right now. UK government says there is no obligation to cancel or postpone events during mourning period. The government of the United Kingdom has advised that there is no obligation to cancel or postpone events and sporting fixtures are closed entertainment venues during the period of national mourning following the passing of Queen Elizabeth. As you may, I remember Andrew Holness said that, you know, no social events should be kept during this time. And um, I think them did want to do something for Miss Lou because, of course, you know, Miss Lou celebrated, well, not Miss Lou celebrated, they celebrated Miss Lou's birthday a couple of days ago. You see me? And I think they wanted to do something throughout the month for her. So, based on what Andrew Holness said, that might have to be cancelled and stuff like that. You see me, people? So, you don't know people about the Prime Minister because of that. I tell you just how it is. You see me? So, what do you guys think? You see me? Missy Bad Boy Trevor, you know, him did repost the article there and him tag Andrew Holness and say, you're just enough. <laughs> Yes, my people. So, make me know if you feel like, you know, Andrew Wall is too enough and he need to go relax or what. Or, you know, agree, say, you know, Jamaica should have 12 days of mourning because the Queen is the head of state. So, of course, you know, maybe, well, not maybe, that would obviously be the reason why, you know, the Prime Minister are telling us, say, we're going to have the 12 days and stuff like that. Is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.